Uh, so we're at Battle of the Brawn, Adelaide. Uh, this weekend's been good, it's been rough. Very, very rough. Um, look, I think most of us came up just because the wildlife and the brave, this is their hometown. I guess this is probably the biggest comp um, in their hometown, so we all thought we'd come and throw down. I'm probably not in the best condition I've been in, so it's been a pretty rough weekend. Um, it's probably a good kick up the ass to get back into training, get some more structure and start ramming up for the Open next year. It is, yes. Um, at the same time, it's probably demotivating because it's like, you know, getting your ass, no one likes getting their ass handed to them. So, um, it's motivating to train harder. Um, it's not motivating to keep pushing through workouts. Yeah, so the last event was 50 cal air dine, 15 overhead squats at 70, 50 cal row, 50 front squats at 90. Um, my plan was to start slow because I knew if you went out too hard on the air dine, your legs are going to be blown out in saying that. I probably started too slow on the air dine and then the whole way through it, I didn't want to ram the air dine up and then defeat my whole purpose of starting slow. So I just kind of had to stick through it, stick with it, and try and finish the workout with the squats as fast as I could. with your training lately? Um, I'm down in Melbourne, down at Navy Base, down there for six months. So, I've been, I've been training with Robert Frankston. Um, and when I'm not training there, I'll just train on base. So, it's been pretty hard with work, just working long hours and training in the afternoons and mornings, but most Arvos, I'll try and get out to Rob Sim and just train with him. So, I just, I'm not really doing any structured programming at the moment, and I'll just do whatever Rob's doing really. Or I'll stick to like a squat program, and then I'll just do whatever I feel like doing. So, once I finish course in November, I'll, I don't know what I'll do. I'll move to Canberra, and then I'll find some sort of program and stick to that. How was it going into regionals this year after your uh, your injury? Uh, yeah, well, it wasn't the best preparation. Um, I, I felt going into regionals, I got sick that week, and then I got to regionals and I just felt run down. Um, like nothing went to plan. Um, I got I hurt my elbow on the overhead squats, and then. After regionals, I got sick and I got tonsillitis like five times in a month. And then I just had a look at myself and my training, and I thought that I needed to do something different. Just having a coach who was overseas at the time didn't really like, didn't know how I was feeling day to day. So I thought 
so I stopped Invictus and I just did my own thing. And like between 2015, 2016, I didn't really get any stronger, um, which is what I needed to do. So I just thought um, that I'd just do my own thing. And I think it's paying off at the moment. So I'm enjoying training at the moment too. So I guess that's the main thing. What was it like seeing Zeke? who's obviously one of your, um, your good friends, qualified to the games. Yeah, it was cool. I, like, looking at the events and, like, he'd tell me sometimes and I knew, like, if he, if he was on that weekend, I knew that he'd go for sure. So, I mean, starting CrossFit with him and seeing him, like, reach the top, it's, it's pretty cool. But, um, Were you nervous watching that? Did you get to watch the last event? Or was yeah, that yeah, yeah. It was, um, it was nerve-wracking, especially we got no rep on his one of his road climbs. Although I know, but like, like, it was pretty safe. It was cool. It was yeah. good to watch. For a second there, I wasn't sure if he was going to make it with that. Eh? He kept his cool though, so credit to him. He did well after that. So I mean, he killed it. So it was cool. Awesome. Yesterday uh, with the events, uh, which one was your favourite event yesterday, and how did you go with it? Um, well, yesterday I think my best event was the Toda Bar one, so I'll say that. Thrust Idol was fun. Um, Toes the Bar, I, I didn't test, I haven't tested any workouts, but I knew pushing you could almost, almost go unbroken. When the first two rounds unbroken, then I broke at 16, 17 on the last set. So, I mean, I was happy with that.